All right, well, the biggest news of all, we announced last week that we had a hole. Holy uh, hole. We had a holy hole in our backyard, <laughs> and now that hole is filled with concrete walls, which is exciting. It's kind of like uh, street magic to see this come together. I would have street magic. To, yeah, I don't know. I I don't know a lot about construction, I'll be honest. I our house was built when I was living in it. So, there was no I it was so cool to see these guys pull this off in the cold. Um they did a good job. It was yeah, it's pretty impressive just to know the craft of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was talking to my friend Scott the other day and we were joking, I'm an artist writer, he's a writer. And we're laughing at the fact that we call what we do a craft. Um, and, I, you know, that? it is what it is. But, like, <laughs> sitting at your um, keyboard typing is nothing compared to what these craftsmen do with steel it's and concrete. It's just a different kind of craft. It is. Yeah. But it's actual work. It, well, I think that's it. It's like, it, it's, it, they're doing God's work. <laughs> I mean, it's... I'm. I'm Especially in 15 degree weather. I mean, yeah. they were really hard workers. Of course, my my dad has a has a construction background, and so I have a special place in my heart for that. And I got to tell you, Lucy and I, I, I picked her up from um, feeding the horses the other day, and we came to look at the the hole when we drove in, and <laughs> the I, holy hole, the smell. Like they say, the smell uh, smell is the sense that's most connected to nostalgia to your past, yes. and. It brought me back. It was I was five years old. There wasn't even in any lumber. No, but it's it, the like smell of fresh and concrete mm. and the gravel and the like. I don't even <laughs> I know what comments. the the smell was, <laughs> but it was my childhood of my dad building houses and taking me on. That's uh, on the thing, and, and he, he built our house, uh, our our childhood home. So, it flashed me back to that. It was Aww. amazing, and I can't wait for the rest of it. So, yeah, it's basically in a, a little addition to our home that is going to uh, be my studio. And we're going to be sharing the, the journey along the way. But we're very excited about that. Of course, now uh, we have to wait till the cold weather passes but for the actual was rest huge, of it. But this is a huge step. If you read my Whimsy Wednesday post, you guys know this was a huge, it was a little bit of a miracle, let's be honest, to get this with the long permit process so that we could just hit the ground running in the spring so it's pretty exciting yeah jane says do not discount the craftsmanship of wordsmithing you're not just discounting yourself what others uh, of us do too. you're right jane I, cool. you know i it's it's uh it was more playing uh, joking with ourselves about uh frankly how much we appreciate what we do like how yeah. how blessed i am to be able to do things like this, to be able to do the writing. <laughs> I love and it Kathleen. Is, is She's a got work. a good idea for us. And Kathleen, by the way, if you don't know, <laughs> used to be to our basement. old. Not our old. It makes it sound like you're like 95 She's years 97 old. She's 97 years <laughs> old, Kathleen. <laughs> she, is, she used to live. Uh, we shared backyards. Um, so we, we have lots of shared memories of backyards together. So in our new backyard, right? Yeah. Um, Mary, oh, yes. yes. Thank you. He, mm. I think he means physical versus cerebral. Yeah. I, yeah. I, a little bit like that, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. I like Rachel says, I feel that way in lumber yards too. My dad always worked in lumber yards. Aww. So yeah, there's something about yeah. those building materials that are pretty, pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So that, that's, that's, I guess, probably one of the biggest things we wanted to share. Um, however, there are some other cool things uh, I wanted to share as well. By the way, Jane says wordsmithing will never give you get you a six pack. Will it? <laughs> you know, I wish. <laughs> then I would be pretty like Thor. Uh, so this is something that I've been been working on recently. So these are, uh, if you're a regular watcher of the show, once a month we award an adultitis fighter of the month. And um, oh, that didn't sound that went off. Uh, so we we do that, and I create little baby original paintings mm-hmm. as a little award on a small little easel here. And so I just finished twelve of these bad boys uh, right there. And a uh, little spoiler alert: this the post is going up tomorrow. Oh. But I don't know if I can get it. There oh, there it is! Jenna Ritter January. is our January winner. Story. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so deserved. Yeah, I. it was one of those things I can't believe she hasn't already been named. It's kind of I know. ridiculous. There's, it's like uh, yeah. Susan Lucci finally winning an Emmy, <laughs> I think. Uh, so, Shout out to you're the Susan, Susan Lucci of, of our tribe. Yeah. yeah. So, so you know. uh, we're excited about that. And I and that's I've been spending time on that. And I always try to do something a little bit different. Yeah, uh, ben different saw me doing year. all 12 of them. And he's like, why don't you just paint one and print them out? 
And obviously, <laughs> I'm like, hmm, smart guy. And I said, well, because we promised that they'd be originals, Ben, and that that is uh, yeah, that is what it is. But also, uh, there's a couple paintings that, I've, that I've, I'm almost finished with. Uh, I've got a new one that I'm kind of in the middle of, I'm excited about. And all of this is uh, built on this concept that this year, my goal is to spend 400 hours in the studio. So uh, that comes out to about eight hours a week about 33 hours a month, give or take. And uh, I made myself a little I love uh, this. sheet yeah. that is a tracker for me. So every box represents an hour. And uh, I don't have, I had one earlier, but like I do it in half if I spend half an hour. Um, and then down below is where I'm gonna write down the finished pieces that I do. How over many is in a row? 20. 20, 20. okay, because yeah. Kathleen just asked how many. So he's done 18 hours already yeah. in January, which now, is not bad. It's, I'm definitely going to be starting behind the eight ball yeah. because we're going to be going on vacation here pretty quick. And we got a late start in the beginning of the month because of our mm -hmm. retreat. So I'm probably not going to get 33 hours in, but I'm going to be close. Yeah. Um, but I think I'll be able to make up for it elsewhere. Uh, so that's, you know, sometimes there's just the power of making a little tracker like that for yourself or whatever it is, whether it's glasses of water or walks or... Uh, whatever it is you want to accomplish over the course of year, that's kind of a, a way that has, has helped One year me. I made one for sales contacts. So I filled in a circle for every sales contact each week, and it was like 10 a week or something kind of outbound. It kept me on track. Yeah, Easy. and uh, Martha calling out, she says, goal, I thought goals were hashtag not a rule. And that's a good point, Martha. In our uh, uh, Wonder and Whimsy Society, we had a uh, mastermind meeting on New Year's Day where we talked about the year ahead. And one of the things I brought up was the idea of systems versus goals. And um, it's not necessarily that goals are bad, um, but systems are better. And so actually this is a system. Mm -hmm. um, I can't necessarily control how many pieces of artwork I'll make in a year. I can't control how many of the originals will get sold. I can't control how much money I'll make off of prints. Those might be goals, but making 400 hours in the studio is something that is entirely within my control so and is, Martha a, is just, a system. Martha just lobbed you a, a, teach, a teachable moment. She's like, I was listening on the mastermind. That's so right. that was a cool opportunity. Thank you, Martha. Be able mm -hmm. to kind of explain our theory on that. Um, and not that goals are bad, by the way. Right. Like they're just, you know. Sometimes just... we set goals that we don't have a full control over whether or not we will attain them. And that can lead to discouragement and make us give up because mm -hmm. we're relying on external circumstances. Um, so, uh, again, losing a certain amount of weight might be a really good goal, but a better system might be drinking so many glasses of water a day or only drinking one can of soda a day or going on a certain amount of walks, something like that. Mm -hmm. So you get the you get the deal. So that's kind of what I've been working on in the studio. I'll be sharing uh, more as we go along.